okay when two bodies comes in contact with each other just for example this is a this is first body and this is second body when two bodies comes in contact with each other then heat always flows from a body from heat always flows from a body at high temperature to the body at low temperature let's say uh, this one has high temperature and this one has low temperature it flows from uh, body at high temperature to low temperature uh, now we know about this and we know one equation also which is called heat equation quantity of heat is equal to mass m s dt mass of the body and specific capacity of the body and difference of temperature now today we are going to solve one of the numerical problem related to this heat transfer by using this heat equation but before that we must know the principle of calorimetry and according to the principle of calorimetry when two substances comes in contact with each other then heat flows from first one of the substance to another substance until and unless both of them comes in equilibrium i mean to say both of them attains equal temperature and that uh, that gives us one equation heat lost If a body has high temperature and another has low temperature, the body having high temperature loses heat energy to the body at low temperature. That's why heat lo lost by this body is equal to heat gained by the second one. Heat lost equal to heat gain. Now, after the understanding of this much, now we'll be able to solve the numerical problem related to this uh, theoretical background okay let's talk about the numerical problem look at this this is a numerical problem of uh, related to heat equation now an iron ball of mass 5 kg at 100 degree celsius temperature is dropped in water of mass 10 kg at 20 degree celsius find the final temperature of water specific capacity of water and uh, the iron is also given here now before i uh, starting this now i want to tell you something more look at this what i told you just now this is hot body this is cold body comparatively cold body heat transfer from this to this now how much heat is lost by this body heat lost is also equal to the same uh, m into s into dt and heat gained by this body will be the same heat gained is also is equal to m into s into dt but while solving numerical problem I suggest you to take one for heat loss, two for heat gain. I mean to say mass of the body which loses heat energy, M1, and specific heat capacity of the body which loses heat energy, S1, and difference of temperature of this body, hot body, is DT1. In the same way here, two, two, two. Heat lost, we are taking uh, to represent heat lost. Um, by 1 and heat gained by 2 now uh, the initial temperature this dt1 initial temperature of this hot body is always greater dt1 is equal to now its initial temperature is more final temperature will be more than t1 let's say its initial temperature is t1 and its final temperature is always uh, less than this T1 because it loses heat energy and final temperature is if taken as T then DT1 will be T1 minus T but in this case get this DT2 DT2 is final temperature it gain it would have final temperature T now its initial temperature is less and its temperature uh, rises because of gain of heat energy that's why the difference of temperature will be final temperature t minus its initial temperature let's take it 
T2 because we are taking two for each of the physical quantity. This we have to remember. We are using M1 into S1 into DT1 and this heat lost by the first body is equal to the heat gained by the second body that is M2 into S2 into DT2. And for DT1, we are writing T1 minus T. This is final temperature T. This is initial temperature of hot body. And the, in second case, the, for the cold body, this final temperature and this is its initial temperature. Using this equation, we are going to solve the given problem. Look at this. Now, let's talk about hot iron ball. Hot iron ball. What is given? We are writing everything. For high, hot iron ball, mass of iron ball is given M1. This is what? 5 kilogram. And in the same way, second, what is given? Its initial temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. That's why T1, let's say T1 equal to 100 degrees Celsius. Now, a final temperature, final temperature temperature is equal to t we are uh, we are sub, we have to suppose let it is, let it is t now according to heat equation we have what we have we have uh, heat lost heat lost is equal to how much m1 into m1 into s1 into dt1 dt1 and the value of m1 is 5 into and 470 is taken as specific capacity is given here we can write here also for specific capacity in the given no. okay specific capacity is 470 joule per kg degree celsius okay now 470 the S1, this is the specific capacity of iron. Now, DT1, what is it? What I told you just before this, it is, it is equal to T1 minus T. And the value of T1, we have, value of T1, its initial temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. That's why 100 minus T. We have this equation. This is equal to, now if we uh, multiply this, we'll get, Two, three, four, uh, two, three, five, zero into one hundred minus t. Okay. Now this is uh, about the hot uh, iron ball. Now let's talk about cold water. Now about the cold water, its mass is given. We have mass that is m two. M two is how much? Ten kg. And we have given its initial temperature also. Initial temperature. Initial temperature. Initial temperature we are writing T2, T1 for this one uh, and T2 for the, this initial temperature of this cold water. T2 is equal to how much it is given? 20 degrees Celsius. Now, another what information is given, we are writing first the given information, final temperature, I am writing very shortly, final temperature is equal to T, both of them have same final temperature until and unless they uh, gain the same final temperature, uh, heat energy keeps on tra transferring from one to another. Now, this is what final temperature. Now, we have to uh, use this equation we have heat gain heat gain is equal to m2 into s2 into dt2 the same is the previous this one same as this one m2 into s2 into what is the value of m2 m2 is how much 10 and what is s2 specific capacity of water is 42 specific capacity of water is also given here 4200 joule per kg degree celsius that's why i'm writing here 4200 into in place of dt2 what we have to write in place of dt2 t minus t2 because the final temperature is t 
and it is greater than zero. Now this is equal to uh, when ten multiplies this four two zero 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 three zero and this multiplied by t is how much is t we have to find out and what is t2 t2 is 20 now we have two equation we can th say this is first equation and this is second so all without saying this we can say that this is heat gain this is heat loss so that's why according to principle of calorie metering according to the principle of principle of calorimetry heat lost is equal to heat gained now where is it lost this one what two three four therefore two three sorry five zero uh, into hundred minus T. This heat lost is equal to 4 to 0, 0, 0, T minus 20. Now we can open this or 2, 3, 5, 0, 2, 3, 5, 0 and 2, 0 more minus 2, 3, 5, 0, T is equal to now 42,000 T minus 4 to the 8, 4, 2 to the 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, this negative value, if taken to right and uh, left hand side, we will have positive 2, 3, 5, 0, 0 plus, now negative becomes positive 8, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, and this is equal to now here. Here it is uh, 84000 and here we have 42000T and this minus value when taken to right hand side it becomes plus 2350 2350T. Now when we add all these in, uh, in the left hand side what we get if we add all these we will have one zero seven five zero 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 in right hand side we'll have how much this is four four three five four 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 three five zero yes four four three five four four three five zero t now if now i'm taking this space if T is equal to if we take this uh, to denominator of this and if we divide then we'll get 24.24.24 degree Celsius this is approximate value because we have other values also up to this four uh, decimal point third value fourth value etc this is our final so this way we can solve the numerical problem related to heat transfer and calorimetry.